Prime Ministers, Secretary Generals, ladies and gentlemen, inspired of the goals of the Paris Agreement, the purpose of TECO 2030 is to create and optimize value for ship owners and other stakeholders through development, production, engineering and installation of green maritime solutions on ships all over the world, which will significantly reduce their negative impact on the environment. TECO 2030 aims to become Norway's, Europe's, the world's leading provider and integrator of green marine technologies. The international shipping industry currently carries about 90% of the world trade, and this is predicted to increase substantially towards 2050. Even though it has a smaller environmental impact than air, rail and road transport, shipping causes significant pollution and emissions and accounts for about 2.5% of global CO2 emissions. Our ambition is to enable the shipping industry to continue to grow while at the same time reducing its emission in order to meet the goal of the International Maritime Organization, IMO, goal to reduce CO2 emissions from international shipping by at least 40% by 2030. Together with our strategic partner, AVL, the biggest independent powertrain developer in the world, which has more than 18 years of experience in the fuel cell industry, we will launch our TECO 2030 marine hydrogen-based fuel cells towards the end of 2022. This will enable ships and other large applications to operate at zero emission. We have already secured a state-of-the-art facility for our GIGA production and innovation center in Narvik, in northern Norway. This facility will create 150 new jobs by 2025 and up to 500 new jobs by 2030. In addition to the TECO marine fuel cells, we have our TECO Future Funnel exhaust gas cleaning system, which reduces SOX according to the Global Sulfur Agreement, also NOX, and we are currently upgrading so that it will also be able to handle particulate matter, black carbon, and carbon capture and storage. TECO 2030 also delivers ballast water treatment systems, which ensure that ships do not carry ecological plants and species during their voyages across the ocean. This reduces the risk of invasive species entering the ship's ballast tanks and help to preserve the local underwater ecosystems across the world. Our company is called TECO 2030 to demonstrate our commitment to the climate targets. And we were listed on Euronext growth on Oslo Stock Exchange in October 2020. The listing was a major milestone for us and has increased our financial flexibility so that we can allow ourselves to think even bigger. We are grateful for the support from our stakeholders and we have received an overwhelming response from investors. We are very happy about this as it will ensure a more financially sustainable growth path for our company. At TECO 2030, we believe that innovative technologies can reduce the environmental footprint of the shipping industry, even as freight volumes increases, and that we can play a role in contributing to the reaching both the goals of the Paris Agreement and the United Nations Sustainability Development Goals. We aim to do this by delivering both emission reduction and zero emission systems. 
Tico 2030 recently published its sustainability report. The report is inspired by the World Economic Forum's common sustainability metrics, the GRI standards and the Euronext guidance on ESG reporting of January 2020. This is our first sustainability report and we intend to continue to communicate our sustainability performance annually and to implement defined sustainability measures. We aim to be transparent about our operations and we will therefore further develop our reporting by including additional disclosures such as climate data. Through the TECO group of companies, we have more than 25, 27 years of history of working closely with the world's shipping companies. Going forward, we are ideally placed to have a real contribution in the transition to renewable energy together with our strategic partner, AVL, where we will combine our extensive marine competence with their technical expertise. Together with my highly competent and committed team, I look forward to taking TECO 2030 to new heights and to contribute to the future of sustainable shipping. And I would like to extend my appreciation for their dedication and endeavor. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.